Welcome to page eight. On page eight, you are going to write the line of best fit for each of the scatter plots you've been given. In number five and number six, the line has been drawn for you. But in number seven and number eight, you'll have to draw your own line of best fit. A few things to mention before you try these problems. Under each line, please write down the formula for an equation in slope-intercept form. Once you have all the equations written under each line, take a quick glance at each graph. For example, number five, we can see it's sloping downward. So this is going to have a negative slope. Number six, well, that's upward. It will have a positive slope. Even though the line isn't drawn for number seven, we can see the dots of the scatter plot are trending upward. So it will have a positive slope. And finally, for number eight, we can see the points are trending downward, so it will have a negative slope. Let's begin. Make sure you have all these notes recorded, and we're going to take a closer look at problem number five. Remember, we're after the slope and the intercept. Clearly, the intercept for number 5 is 500. Now, the slope won't be as easy. We have to look at the line and grab two readable points, such as this point, which appears fairly readable, and another good point, might be this point. So, we need to fall from here to here, which is about 450 to 350. And we're going to run from 100 to 300. So again, the difference between 450 and 350 is a fall of 100. It's a negative 100. And then to run from 100 to 300 is a difference of 200. So our slope, our delta y over our delta x is negative 100 over 200, which reduces down to negative 1 half. And this is our slope. Now write an equation for the line. When you're ready, move on to the next. For number 5, you should have gotten negative 1 half times x plus 500 equals y. Let's take a look at number 6. In this case, we can see that we will need to find the slope and the intercept. Our intercept is about 100 50. Now let's look for our slope. I look at the line and I don't see any two points that stand out. But I can pick a point here that lives on the line at 2, 200. And maybe I'll grab the neck, another point here at 4, 250. I can calculate the rise and the run with any two points on that line. 
to go from 2 to 250, that's a rise of 50. And to go from 2 to 4, that's a difference or a gain of 2. My slope is positive 50 over positive 2, which of course is 25. Write an equation for this line. Turn the video back on when you're ready. You should have gotten 25x plus 150 equals y. Now, looking at 7 and 8, what happens when they don't draw the line of best fit for you? Then it's your job to find the best line of fit on your own. Number seven states, this scatter plot shows the number of customers at a farm stand each hour and the total, num the total amount collected that hour. It's our job to draw a line that represents the line of best fit. But there are a few key points to remember. Find the line through as many points as you can. Try to get an equal number of points above the line as below the line. Ignore any extreme points called outliers. And it may happen that none of the points lie on the line. Well, if you take a straight edge of some sort and try a few different options, you can come up with a line of best fit, such as this one. You can see I tried to go through some of the given points. However, it wasn't easy. And I tried to have as many points above the line as below the line. So the best I can do is this estimate. Now it's my job to find the slope and the intercept. Well, the intercept is easy. This is a proportional line it's zero. But what about the slope? Well, if I look at these two points, which live on the line, I'm going to check out their positive rise over run. Now it starts about 125, and it goes up to about 175. I'm going to go with a rise of 50. And the run, well, that's going to take a bit of figuring, too. I can see that in between 16 and 24 is 20. And the midpoint between 24 and 32 is 28. I would say this is about a run of 8. Well, it's not a very pretty slope. 50 over 8. And if I had to clean this up a bit, I get 25 over 4. Now, we can write the equation 25 over 4x plus an intercept of 0 equals y. And remember, this is just an estimate or the best we can come up with the line of best fit. Try the next one on your own and then compare to the answer key at the end of this video when you're ready. Please pause and remember this one will have a negative slope. Compare your answer to the answer given here on the line. First of all, check and make sure was your slope a negative slope? Did your rise over run value come close to 2,400? And was your intercept value 28,000? Hopefully, you're in the ballpark. This concludes page 8.